For those of you who missed part one, here's a little recap. My plan right now was to get some sleep. Why did you just go down and get another duplicate license? Let me pay you something. Did you come out about a trespassing mall tomorrow? Maybe. Let me pay you something. I'm just trying to get to Wise Wise Holdings. Well, I got hit by a, a taxi cab crossing the street in the school zone at 3 p.m. And when my homeless identification number came back, he says, Oh no, you're not getting off the street by filing a suit against this guy. And he arrested me for filing a false police report. You have bad luck with the police. What's up? I wonder if you can call the police out. Okay. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. We have Do you want any help? I'm not going to spend any But if you don't want any of our help, I'm going to go with the alternate plan. I'm going to go with the alternate plan. You put you somewhere if you don't want to. Meaning that they come to jail. How do we want? We don't want you laying out. Okay, so, so what, what you're telling me is it's against the law to refuse services. You just told me that it, if I don't accept the uh, services, the alternative is to take me to jail. No, no, what law am I breaking? So am I breaking the law in Miami Beach right now? Right now you're not breaking the law. So first you pickpocketed me and ran my ID. Then you kicked me and woke me up to tell me I'm not breaking the law. What's up with that? You need job assistance. You need some services. You need to learn how to get back into the job market. I don't know what kind of skills you have. You don't want to go to 5517 Street. I can take you there and drop you off. Everything. The park is closed from sunset to sunrise. You cannot be on the park. Not this park. Any park in Miami Beach. The park is closed. We're going to get around. Okay. As far as far as the hours of the park. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a public park cannot close at any time of the day or night unless there's a physical barrier to entry. We're not going to go back and forth with Cook versus Washington and whatever the court opinion that you are citing. These are the laws of mighty people. Okay, so now that we've recapped what you saw in part one, here's part two. If you get arrested for breaking one of those laws, then you're more than welcome to put that defense on in the court. That's not where we want to go with this. What okay. I'm trying to tell you is that we don't have to go that route. Right. We have that, but I'd rather have go the right over. Oh, okay, I'm now, now, 555 five, five, when I went there has never mentioned to me anything about that they could get me assistance finding employment. Okay? Did you ask? You did ask, specifically for that. I didn't ask specifically for employment, no. The last time I was there was when I got the ID, did you okay? Ask for the ID? No, nobody has told me. Did you ask for the ID? Yes. You asked for that and you, you got, got an ID? No, nobody. Yeah, after 10 years of trying, and they're telling me they wouldn't get me it unless I checked into a shelter. I don't know what rules you had to follow to get the ID. All I know is you just told me you asked for it, and you got it. You did not ask for any type of job or employment, and you didn't get that. I don't know what kind of conversations you had right. with them over there. I don't know when was the last time you had a conversation. I know what services that they offer. They'll tell you exactly what services they offer. We can take you over there now, and if they, if they tell you in front of us, hey, no, nah, we ain't gonna do nothing for you, we don't offer no employment. All right. But I know they, they do have job assistance. Okay, so so I will go over there on my own, and I will inquire as to what kind of so job assistance correct. they can give me. Why put off today? With, why put off tomorrow with you today? We're going over there right now. Matter of fact, we're gonna take this gentleman over there right now. Why don't you go with us? Because what happens is, and we're all human, I'll do it tomorrow, man, tomorrow, another time. I want to clean the garage tomorrow. I don't get to that fucking garage until a month later. That's that's what happens. But if I get off my lazy butt and do it today, it's done and over with. Let's let's get you over there now. And if they tell you, hey, no, nah, we don't have nothing for you. All right, no problem. Now we all now we're all on the same page. Just like you record, he record. We're all on the same page. But that's what they tell you. And hey, when you when I see you here tomorrow, or the park ranger sees you here tomorrow, hey man, they, they can't do nothing to me. Well, so let's go over there and find out. What, we're not gonna put you in no shelter. We're not gonna do nothing to you. We're not gonna arrest you. It's two minutes away. 
And if they tell you, no, we're not going to do nothing for you, you're more than welcome to leave. So what's the problem with my going over there on my own? Because you're not going to do it. You and, I, you and I both know you're not going to do it. Chances are you're not going to do it on your own. You're not going to do it. Keeping it real. We can take it. We're not going in the back of the car and handcuffing up. We're just giving you a ride. That's it. Well, I really don't think that, that I want to go over there with you guys at this moment, okay? Why not? I said I, said I would go over there and check into whether they can help me with, with finding a, uh, work. And I don't see... It'll take 10 minutes you're you're telling me I'm not breaking any laws, I'm not under arrest, so I don't see what the problem is with my going over there, you know. We know, we know it's not you're telling me right away that, that you already know that I'm not going to keep my word. I mean, I, I don't understand. How do you know that I, I'm not going to keep my word? What makes you think I'm not going to keep my word? Oh, have I lied to you in the past? I have never done you don't know me, exactly. That's why you don't want to go now? Don't go. We have a clear understanding of what our laws are. You got to agree to defense, you take out over your attorney, and it is what it is. Okay? You understand. You're trespassing, you can't be trespassing wherever there's a sign. You can't sleep on a sidewalk, you can't do none of that. Okay? Camping, you can be out here covered up with cardboard under you, you've got a record for camping. Okay? If 555 is closed, it gets cold, you need a shelter bed, you're always more than welcome to go to our police station, 1100 Washington Avenue, and request a bed. We'll place you. Okay? Okay. Completely free, go there, we'll take you down to Miami, we'll put you in the salvation army. Also, do you explain to him that we can't shower in the sink? We, can. we continue having the same problem almost every day, showering, we can't do that. Okay, that's, that's well, well for, first of all, I've never been accused of that. I've spoken to you a couple times about the same thing. You go inside the restaurant, you stay there for, what, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you create a mess on the floor, and now the cleaning lady no, has sir. to come and pay after you. No, sir. Yes, sir. I've spoken to you, Steve. I'm, I'm not, I've, I've never been in there that long unless I was exceptionally constipated. Well, <laughs> now, now we know, okay? Whether you did it or not, now you know you cannot do it, in case you didn't know that, okay? Exactly. Common sense. You can go in there and shower in a, in a public bathroom. That's not what it's for. Just go in, do your business, and get out. Okay? Shelter. Shower, you can do your personal needs, whatever it is. Everything that we spoke about today and been recording for the past 30 minutes, it's gonna get documented. Okay? I'm gonna write a report, and me and you had a great conversation, mm -hmm. and we're all on the same page. And then you're gonna go on your own to 555 17th Street to seek employment. Is that fair? You kicked me to wake me up, you pickpocketed me to run my ID without my permission. Was that fair? Mr. ID. That's the luck, alright? The luck. Okay, so it's uh, Sergeant Berrien and Officer Paredes. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, your badge numbers, please. 1104. And Ranger, your name and badge numbers? So there you have it. Take me and woke me up to offer me homeless services. After telling me I wasn't breaking any laws and I wasn't under arrest, it made it very clear to me that I would be arrested if I refused the homeless services. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, you know, we're not going to force you to go there. You're not under arrest. Or at least they gave me back my ID. Because the last time that happened, they didn't. They took my whole wallet, and that's how come I became homeless in the first place. Because I couldn't get the ID replaced. It's Okay, so now they're loading that other guy in the car to take him to the homeless outreach center. In the meantime, there's these two other people sleeping in the middle of the lawn here. They didn't kick either one of them. They didn't wake either one of them up. They didn't give them a lecture. They didn't bother them at all. Why me? Maybe because I'm the only one with a camera? Well, that's it for another one. This Miami Beach audits. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, leave a comment in the comment section to help the algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.